and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jackie Lawrence and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. If this is the first time of visiting, then please do hit the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified of any new videos that I upload. Today I'm taking part in the Global SU Vlog Hop. And this is where a group of global demonstrators have got together to showcase um, tips and inspirations with regards to stamping up products. All you need to do is just look in the description for the next person to hop along to. You're going to get loads of inspiration. So this month's theme is all about using up your scraps and we all have them as crafters. Anyway, let me get you down onto my desk and we can get crafting. So this is the suite I'm going to be using today. Beautiful designer series papers and then I'm going to be using the um, sentiment from the Tidings and Trimmies stamp set and also the coordinating dies. So this is the card that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. As you can see, I've used one inch square designer series paper and I've used three different patterns. And that is from the Tidings of Christmas designer series paper. And then we have the bricks and mortar 3D embossing folder. So let me just show you quickly the, um, the papers. Absolutely gorgeous, double sided and um, they're six by six inch and it's a lovely paper stack of 48 sheets okay so that's quickly that was just the papers quickly and then we're always left with some off cuts so what you will need is um, I've already pre-cut these because I'm sure you don't want me to see me cutting squares I've done um, one each squares and I've got three of the different patterns absolutely gorgeous paper okay then as I say I've used the bricks and mortar design um, embossing folder and the cardstock that you will need is I have basic white and that is just a standard card which I've um, cut in half lengthways and I've just scored and folded that and burnished the score line. Then for our um, first layer which I've done in evening evergreen that is 14.4 by 10 centimeters and that is four by five and a quarter inches. Then I have the basic white um, layer which I have as I say, run through the embossing folder and that is 13.9 by 9.5 centimetres and that's three and three quarters by five inches. Then I have a couple of other scraps. I've got some cherry cobbler for um, die cutting and also I'm using the lovely labels pick a punch punch. And um, I've done evening evergreen for my first layer and that's three quarters by three and three quarter inches. And then layer two is half an inch by three and a half inches. And that's basic white. So that's all the elements that you're going to be needing. Okay, so getting our basic white embossed folder, I just want to try and find the center of the card. So I'm just going to use a ruler and a pencil um, so that's nine so that should be four and a half centimeters so I'm just going to put a, a mark there And hopefully that will help me when I do my sides. I did get my sides slightly wrong on here. So if we put that on there. Right, there's my point. So I'm going to glue down with Tombow. 
and I'm hoping this is going to work. Okay, so that's the point there. So that's about there. And then it's up to you how far down you would like your, your squares to go. And then just line that up with a just touching the um, touching the the corner slightly. If I try and use a ruler, maybe that will help. Okay. So I just need to find my other piece. Then just gluing down. Move that up a bit. Next we can move down to our next layer. I'm going to put the red at the top. So again, just um, decide which way you want your patterns to go. And then this one can just go on the end. Again, I'm putting so that the, um, the design is going in the opposite direction. So you just want a little bit of glue there. And I've only put it on the slight end here because I want um, to cut this off and then I can use it there. Okay, and then do the same with going down with the green. The colours are just lovely in this, in this set. Okay. And then whilst that's drying, we can then trim off the excess overhang. Like so, just move that glue, otherwise we'll get stuck everywhere. And then just turn this over, and again, we're just snipping away. Like so, and then we can just put a dab of glue on the other side, and then we can put that one like there, and then again. So I'm just going to leave those to dry for the moment. Right, so next I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Um, as I say, I'm going to use the wishing you a joyful Christmas and a happy new year. So I'm just going to get my, um, my punch and I'm going to insert that and I want the flat edge, but it's up to you if you want to go for the other pattern. And then just flipping the um, the punch over so I can see. I'm just like making sure that my punch is all nicely lined up. And then whilst we're there, I'm going to do the um, evening evergreen strip as well.
Okay, so there's our um, two strips there. And then I'm just going to take the cherry cobbler and then I'm going to ink that up. And then stamp that down. Like so. Bring that up to camera. And then I can just glue that with some Tombow. And then what I'll do is I'll, I can trim that off. Right, let's see how our layers are. So that should be dry enough for me to now snip those off. Okay, and that seems to have worked out better on my side so it's good um, to as I say try and find your center of your card before you start um, gluing down so I'm just going to trim this okay now it's time to bring in the mini cut and emboss machine because I want to um, cut my berries out um, so I've got my plate one and my two plate twos and if you haven't already got one of these little machines you are missing out um, perfect for most of our dies in the annual catalog the mini catalogs um, it's amazing how many dies actually um, do fit through and then you're left with these little berries there. The other tip that I suggest you do is sit one evening and die cut all your little elements from the um, from the the dies and um, I've done that here so um, let's just find my holly leaves so I've got one there one there and if you're wondering I don't think I have said this is the beautiful soft succulent color one of the new in colors as is the evening evergreen so I just keep them in a pot and then as and when I want to make a card they're there waiting okay so now we can start building our layers so I've got my base card and my evening evergreen. Now, as you can see, I've done some punching um, already on here. Um, you know, don't waste your card if it's going to be covered. Okay, so I just put a little bit of Tombow on there and then that can go down. So you've just got a little border all the way around. Okay making sure I've got the card up the right way so you want your fold at the top okay next can go down is the basic white layer and so you can see that this has covered where I've punched out I was going to use the oval, double oval punch um, here I'll, I'll show you but I thought well because I'm using sort of squares and rectangles it'd probably be better if I used what I did okay so we have our um, sentiment now I'm going to mount that with my dimensionals and I'm going to use the black dimensionals um, I've only just got into these, so it's perfect for your um, for your darker card, and it comes in different sizes in your pack. So I'll just put those on, and then using take the pick tool, 
I'm just going to take the backings off like so and then that can be put there and then just using your Tombow again you can um, place your your holly And then I'm just going to use a double glue. Oops, got the paper stuck on it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of dobs just there. For the berries. Um, the glue does dry clear, so don't worry. So I've got my other take a pick tool and I'm going to use the putty end and I'm just going to pick up my berry and place it down. Okay, so just move those along and then the third one. like that there you go okay any glue can be then rubbed off and then finally, I'm just going to put some rhinestones on. So again, using my take a pick tool, I'm just going to slide them across and take them off. And then you can just put these anywhere. And that is your card finished. So I hope you like that idea with the scraps. Just going to bring you back to me. And um, don't forget, when you hop around, please do leave a comment as we do like to receive feedback. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and um, then you'll get notified of all the demonstrators taking part when they upload a new video. If you want to place an order, then please do contact your demonstrator. Um, or if you don't have one and you're in the UK or Europe, then please do check out my details at the end of the video. Anyway, in, thank you for joining me and enjoy the rest of the hop and I look forward to crafting with you again soon. So keep well, keep safe and keep crafting. Bye for now.